today we're taking a look at how to get NVIDIA Control Panel without installing it from Microsoft Store. How to get your proper, good and full NVIDIA Control Panel. So let's go! Alright, so you will actually need to begin with going into Microsoft Store and check if you have NVIDIA Control Panel installed in there. If you do have the NVIDIA control panel in Microsoft Store, select uninstall. Alright, when you have uninstalled the Microsoft Store version, it's not the full version, it's not good, then we're going to get the actual proper nice NVIDIA control panel with all the options that are available for your graphics card. And to do this, we actually need to update the drivers onto your computer. You will need to update the graphics drivers and we need to select the game ready drivers and not some preset uh, DCH um, driver. So basically let's go into and update our Nvidia drivers and I'm going to show you exactly what version you need to select and how to get the version with the control panel. So watch carefully. To download Nvidia drivers we will go to a web browser and type in NVIDIA Advanced Search. I have a link to this in the description that you can open easily. On this page we'll need to figure out what type of graphics cards driver we will download. To do that we will right click on the Windows icon and select Device Manager. Inside Device Manager we will look for Display Adapters. We shall expand this and under here we can see our graphics cards. The NVIDIA GeForce GTX 950M is ours. So we will write in product type GeForce Operating System Windows 11, GeForce 900M series, the M series or the Notebook series and the without M are standard. Windows driver type, select standard. The DHC driver isn't very good and it lacks control panel. And I will just select recommended slash certified and download the latest GeForce Game Ready driver. We'll just click on that and we'll come to the download page. Here we can get some information and just click download. If you have a previous uh, DHC driver, you may have NVIDIA control panel via Microsoft Store. This control panel isn't very good however, so I would recommend you remove that control panel from Microsoft Store and just install the proper standard drivers instead. Now when it's downloaded we can uh, run the exe file that is the display adapter uh, install. So we'll just let it extract, it can take a couple of minutes but uh, just leave it be and it will then check system compatibility. If you have selected the wrong drivers it will tell you here. We did select the correct driver however, so we can now proceed to select NVIDIA graphics drivers and GeForce Experience or just the graphics drivers. If you use NVIDIA Shadowplay you need GeForce Experience, for all other users I would recommend you to not install GeForce Experience. Now select custom install option and click next and here I will select perform a clean installation. This will remove some older junk and older drivers and uh, it's good to do this. If uh, you have previous drivers, maybe DHC drivers before, then I would definitely perform a clean install. Or if you are installing your uh, drivers first time on Windows 11, I would definitely perform a clean install. It will remove old Windows 10 drivers. Now it has proceeded and installed and everything went absolutely fine. So that is fantastic. And if it failed, it will tell you here. Now we will check that we actually have NVIDIA control panel active and ready and it should be in the taskbar here. If we just close this down and go down to the lower right corner and expand the taskbar you can find NVIDIA settings. If you just click on that you will get NVIDIA control panel and inside here you can do your usual NVIDIA control panel settings. Now we shall expand the uh, device manager and just check the driver version and here we can see the date of the driver, very nice. We successfully got the latest driver, that's fantastic. So now we can go ahead and change whatever settings we want in control panel. But this will be all for this little tutorial so thanks a lot for watching and do keep subscribed for future tech tutorials. This is Jim Odesim signing out. Well and there we have it. 
Hope you got back your control panel there and hope you're happy. Set up the settings as you wish and in any case, thanks for watching. Check my other tutorials on how to optimize uh, Windows 11 and Windows 10 uh, for gaming and stuff like that. So I'll see you in future videos. This is Jim Reyes and I'm signing out. Until next time.